Okay. Hey Deb, this is Andrea. Hi Deb, this is Andrea. Hi. Hi there. Technology enables people to work in ways that weren't possible just a decade ago, from video conferencing to software apps that promote team culture, as well as technology that helps people work together and collaborate easily online as they do in person. To find out the best practices as well as practical technology hacks and apps and having a healthier balance between work and personal life is award-winning technology reporter Andrea Smith. Andrea, what are some of the most popular and useful workplace apps? Well, you know, it's really interesting to think about apps these days. They've become so popular. Um, you know, until recently, email's been the main form of digital communication, especially in offices. And now companies are using uh, collaboration hubs like Slack instead of email because they allow for instant communication with your colleagues and entire teams. And they use apps right inside the Slack platform, which means you don't have to spend a whole lot of time going back and forth between different programs. Everything you need is right in the Slack platform. The most popular ones these days are the file sharing platform, uh, Google Drive, Zoom, which is a video conferencing service, and a team culture app called Donut. What are the best practices for boosting productivity and staying remotely connected? Well, you know, there's a few things that you can do. First of all, take a break. Slack found that over half of Americans think that taking a break between tasks boosts their efficiency, makes them feel more productive. So get up, take a walk, go grab a snack and clear your head before moving on to the next task. Also, you should try to work in a quiet place. Um, and that's where programs like Slack really help because you can be removed from your colleagues and still be in constant communication. What are some advances in technology that allow us to work smarter and faster to allow for more time with family and friends? Well, you know, apps really make work more efficient. You're saving time using them, so you can use that time back to spend with family and friends. And so, for example, scheduling, when you want to schedule a, a, a meeting, you would have to open your calendar program, block out the time, send the invites, wait for the responses. Uh, this process is so much easier and faster in Slack because you can create that calendar invite and manage it right from within the Slack platform. What tips do you have for folks looking to switch off? Well, I always think it's a great idea to take time every day to switch off, not only to clear your head and relax a little, but it's a great example for the kids too. And then when you're ready to hop back in, platforms like Slack keep everything in one place so you can jump right back into where you left off. Where can our viewers go for more information? For more information and resources, head over to slack.com. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to talk with us this morning. Have a good day. Thank you, Deb. Bye.